Slack attack. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, uh, my name is Major Slack. Your name is Hardcore Slack, number 1573. And let's walk through some more dying light. Here we are at the first antenna. First objective for the Pact with Rice mission. The building where the switch is is just up ahead. And um, this whole area is filled with common herb. There's some right there. So while all the bad guys are busily engaged, um, you know, stop dropping and rolling. <laughs> Let's harvest some herbs. Once more on the other side. Give this guy here a little taste of the skull crusher. Common herbs are useful for all kinds of recipes, all booster recipes. So grab as many as you can. And we also got a goon on the scene, but there's lots of explosive containers in the area. Of course. You know by now that using explosive containers has consequences, but hey, we're ready to deal with those consequences, right? Okay, so this one can be set off with a firecracker, no problem, and the goon is right there, so set off the gas bill, and ba boom. A little bit of collateral damage, but hey. <laughs> So I'm just hanging out waiting to see if any virals are going to spawn right away. So it doesn't look like it, so I'm going to take a chance. Try to eliminate this guy here. Down she goes. And this wrecked car has a car alarm here, it just went off. And it will eventually blow. The barrel spot so that was a wasted firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is run over and the car line goes up. And you hear virals are spawning now, so here we go. Drawing the goon over there so we can put some blow up shit in his face using the pistol, because there's no gas bill beside that red barrel. Now I don't know why I was unable to jump on top of this thing here. Sticking to the high ground, waiting for the virals to come. They should come any minute now. Got another explosive container back there. Trying to sucker the uh, the goon over near it, and here we go. Virals are on the scene. We don't yet have the stomp skill. As soon as you can get it, get the stomp skill, because it also applies to virals climbing up on top of the buildings. You can stomp them and do an instant kill. It's very easy. So I'm going to use a grapple smackdown combo, grapple him behind, and give him a spanking. <laughs> the extra swats for good measure. Bad, bad viral. Bad. Okay, so the goon is left, and we got an explosive barrel there. Let's see if we can sucker him over there. Go right up close. Get him to make his move. And continue to advance towards us. This way, big boy. And, oh yeah. That doesn't mean him, but of course it draws more virals, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, consequences. So, I have to just dismantle something to make room for this this rebar here. And 
these flaming zombies can really take a beating. <laughs> it sets the gas below for this relief. <laughs> so uh, I think it's time to use some of those premium throwing stars that you've been watching me stockpile over the past few videos. Down she goes, and that is that. Now the objective marker points to this garage door, so we have to open it. And surprise! Guess he's coming to dinner. <laughs> I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. <laughs> Alright, this fucked up infected motherfucker, pardon my French, is a new kind of enemy that we're being introduced to called toads, and toads have ranged acid attacks, so watch out. That's the best way to deal with that toad. Drop kick him off the roof and then ground pound him to finish him off. If he's not dead already. Ooh. And cooking myself up here, boss. All right, cook yourself up there, Slack. You blithering idiot. <laughs> okay, so there's the switch over there, and a couple of hard locked lockers to my right. There, the power's fucking on. Good. Now head up to the top. Now we have to climb the antenna tower, but before we do that, like I said, there's a couple of lockers here. Make sure you loot them to get some good loot. And let's spend that agility skill point that we earned on escape. This will allow us to, you know, like when zombies are putting the bite on us, uh, it will allow us to escape twice as fast. All right, cuts down the escape time by fifty percent. Very useful. And before climbing the tower, let's get some easy power XP here. There's always a big platoon of zombies here. Okay, so these guys are just right for a firecracker molotov combo and rack up lots of lots of power xp there now i want them to turn into loot packages so what i'm doing here is just running back to the common herbs field to see if the it respond and nothing has respawned here. But then this will have put me far enough away to make all those zombies turn into loot packages so we can quickly grab those up. And it's a done deal. Let's start climbing the tower. This is a climb puzzle a la Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed 4 kind of thing, you know, you got to figure out how to climb up. <laughs> First part's pretty easy and intuitive. Now we got to start looking for the yellow bars to climb up. 
take yellow bars here. And up you go, Crane. I don't know what happened here. The game just refused to let me jump up and grab. <laughs> it's like there's something in my way. There we go, finally got it. More yellow bars. We gotta turn to the left and make a jump over here. Climb these up to to another catwalk. And now you gotta climb this funny ribbon thing. You get the use prompt. Don't go all the way up. Jump over here to the yellow bar, okay? Because it gets kind of finicky. And then you gotta shimmy over this way and then press the interact button to climb the I call it a ribbon thing. And then you gotta turn to the right and jump up there. And she's always there. Give her a little taste of the the skull crusher and down she goes. That's it, so we're up. We throw the switch. Oh shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Alright, so we got a new objective. Find the second antenna. And this is a hard checkpoint right here. Meaning, if you exit the game now, you'll respawn right there at that tower. It won't respawn you like way across town or something. So if you want to exit the game, that's a safe place to exit the game. And my herbs have finally respawned, but so has the platoon of zombies here. That's okay. Let's keep them occupied. Throw a little barbecue. You can tell by the uh, the amount of power XP you get for each kill. So I hope it's a hundreds flying by just below the power XP, power XP meter. And grabbing up some more herb. This guy is spanking. And we get a kill cam there. How many of you enjoy kill cams in video games? I have to say, for the most part, I don't. Uh, but hey, post a comment. Let me know. And we're coming up near the end of this video, so that is it. Uh, next video, we're going to take care of a couple more safe zones on the way to the second antenna. All right? Don't miss out. And until then, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, happy gaming. Two, three. Get some.